Hello, Lothrizar here. Welcome to my le next Let's Challenge series. Number two in the, ch in the series. This is Let's Challenge Final Fantasy 1, the Red Mage Solo Challenge. That title is too long, I know. It's probably going to be abbreviated up there. Like, so something like FF1 RMT, or FF1 Red Mage Solo. What are we doing? Oh. So, <clears throat> this is a game I've wanted to LP for a while, but it's been done poorly by lots of people, and it's been done really, really well by H.C. Bailey. Um, if I remember to, I'll put a link to his name on the side there. If not, just ask. Um, also, a guy named Han Dalgor. I don't know how to spell that either. Um, he did videos like this where, where where he soloed a whole bunch of bosses using every class, but that was just the boss fights. So I'm going to do the whole thing. should be fun and quite challenging as well. There we go. Now I picked black mages here because they have the lowest hit points. So they'll be able to, I'll be able to kill them off very easily. And a fast forward feature is amazingly useful. Let's see. Grab a weapon. <laughs> okay. And the red mage can use the best armor in the game at this stage anyway. The red mage is notoriously overpowered in this version of the game anyway because of the of the intelligence stat bug his spells are just as powerful as the other, other mages and some of the black and all of the spells that the black mage can use that the red mage can't are useless so i mean and the, he does, there's lots of white magic spells that he doesn't get that are good but soloing it with, with a um sorry soloing this game with a white mage does not sound like fun to me. Here I get a little bit of everything. I get basically all four, all the types of characters wrapped up into one. I can class black magic and white magic, and I can fight. That's the three main functions in this game. Is basically physical attacks, um, black magic attacks, white magic healing, and that's about it. So I've always liked cross classes like that, like shamans, paladins, sages. People that can do a little bit, a little bit of everything. Hopefully, they can do it well. Now, I deliberately am not going to equip my weapon just yet because I don't. I have to kill off my black mages first, and for that, I don't want the imps to die too fast. Also, I'll put this guy in the back row so he takes less beats. There we go. So fast forward. Let's try to find our first battle. There we go. Only three. Uh, Three might not be enough to kill them all. That's okay. I'd like to be able to do this without gaining a level with any of the mages, but if I do, it doesn't matter. They'll either be level one corpses or level two corpses. And I put Zeds because they're just going to be sleeping. <laughs> Make them sleep for the entire game. Well, it's one down, but I'm gonna kill these imps before the other two fall, I bet. So you can see, if the red mage had a weapon, these things would be dying a lot faster. A lot faster. Now, if you haven't played this game, there's probably gonna be some things that, you know, I go really fast through, like, well, I skipped the intro at the beginning, the prophecy storyline thing. We're just, um, what is it, lighting up. Yeah, we're just letting up those four crystals in the top left. And why did he get moved to the top row? I want him in the bottom. I don't know. But yeah, it's a pretty straightforward game. It's pretty linear. I'm going to go through everything in order. Like, there's certain places where you can do things out of order. Like, you can do the Castle of or Ordeal before you do the Fire Volcano. And... A bunch of other stuff like that where you can mix things up. I think I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna do everything in the order it was intended to be played in. I'm not sure. It depends how hard the fire volcano is. I haven't really tested that at all yet. 
turns out the fire volcano is really deadly. I might have to do the ice cave first and do some level grinding there and come back. Um, I guess the castle or, or, of ordeal I can skip completely because I'm not go going to upgrade to a wet to a what's it called a red wizard. I'm just gonna stay as a red mage the entire game. I mean it's not the biggest upgrade really anyway, so um, it's not too much of a loss. But yeah, I'm gonna stay as a red mage and stay not upgraded. But but by the end by the last temple, or by the last few temples, I should say, it'll be level 50, so it should be quite doable. You don't really get any new equipment or spell. well you get some new spells as the wizard instead of the mage, but I'll just, that'll just make it that much harder. Besides, it's called, it's called the red mage challenge, not the red wizard challenge, so there you go. Okay, let's put my weapon back on. There we go. Stay at the end to fulfill my mana my magic and health. Now, if you've played other Final Fantasy games, or if you've played um, the, one of the newer versions of the game, this game, such as Game Boy Advance or something, you'll just have the normal MP. But here, of course, you have spell charges and you have different levels of spells. So they're not mana points, they're the number of times you can cast that level of spell. But. I don't think I'm going to be over, going over too much of the game mechanics or, game, or plot here, except for little things where I notice it. Okay, all that's left to do now, well, we could go to the castle, but there's no point. The first dungeon's in the top left, but at level 1 we can't do that. You have to level, level grind to level 2 or 3 in a normal route, so as a solo, I'll probably want to be level 4 or 5. So of course I will be level grinding off screen, but I just want to demonstrate a few battles. So with the sword in hand, I should be able to kill these guys one hit, more or less. Yeah. Let's fast forward even more. So a lot of the fighting I'll do will be like this in fast forward mode, because you can see, look how slow this would be in normal normal mode. It takes like full five or six seconds for each enemy to do their attack, and then plus for mine. That's just way too slow. I mean, you just basically you just watch your health, and if you have to stop to heal, you do that. Hey, look, I gained a level already. That was fast. Okay. Yeah, it's def I have 54 max hit points now instead of 30. There we go. More spell charges. Okay, and eventually, so we're gonna be level. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go all the way. I'll go to level five. For the next area for the first boss who tries to knock me down and that way I won't have to do any level grinding after him for the area across the bridge there. Um, I'm, I'm gonna spend all my money on heal potions. They restore hit points and they're 60 gold each. So oh, let's, try, let's demonstrate one more battle just for fun. Let's see if we can get something that are not imps this time like a wolf or Actually, something like that hard, we might not be able to take at this level, but... I don't know. Uh, well, we have lots of time left in this video. I might as well demonstrate some level grinding to you anyway. Oh, crap, a mad pony. This is scary. Um, because I'm such a low level, I'm gonna cast magic on him and hope he doesn't kill me. Oh yeah, I'm out of spell torches. Well, crap. Okay, let's just hope I don't die. Oh, he only hit me for one there. I hit him for 23. Okay, maybe he's not as scary as I remember. Okay, so he took away a good chunk of my health. So, level one, that would definitely be not be a good fight to do, but I lived, so that was pretty cool. So, stay at the end. And just rinse and repeat that. You can feel free to stay to the south if you want it to be safer. If you want to try it a little bit faster, you can go further north and there's green imps and werewolves and other things like that. I don't quite have enough for a potion. I <laughs> can't even buy a single potion. Okay, well, good timing. We're out of time here, so... 
I'll meet in episode two. I'll be level five, and I'll meet you standing right outside the Temple of Fiends, the first dungeon. Thanks for watching. See you next time.